for the second game? You know we're ready. This time, it's Cavaliers facing against the Indiana Pacers, and now they are at Gamebridge Fieldhouse, ready for the next part of the game. For the matchups, Darius Garland is along with Donovan Mitchell, Ben Evan Mobley with Jared Allen, and Max Struess in a small four. And on the other side, Darius Halliburton with Andrew Nembhard, Aaron Nesmith, and Pascal Siakam, and Miles Turner is in the center guard of position. Now, time to take you on from here. I have another one coming in, and this time, it's all for the ones, and you all have to be believing on for the next game. Roy Cruz is back, along with the other commentaries with Boomer and Lightbulb. It's time to see what goes in. Starting on for game three. Number two is the next one to be on. Let's go. Enjoy for the second game of the afternoon, as tonight's game will be important to get in for the next lineup. See you all later, everybody. Now let's meet your starting lineups for your Indiana Pacers. Okay. Six three. Number two. Andrew Nembhard. Four, four, six, five. Six, five. Number twenty-three. Aaron Nesmith. In the middle. Six eleven. Number thirty-three. Miles Turner. At the other four positions, six, six, six to eight. Nine. Number 43, Pascal Siaka. And then point guard, six, six, five. Number zero, Tyrese Salaburton. Yeah, that goes for the Indiana Pacers, Rick Carlson. Let's be here for your Indiana Pacers. Hey everyone, it's Roy here, and right now we're at Indianapolis for Game Bridge Field House. As right now, I have the commentaries along with me as Boomer and Lake both here on the sideline, and David Aldridge on the sideline too. And for nights of the game, it is Game Three and happening here at NBA Playoffs only on 2K Sports. This matchup is about to be in between Tyrese Halliburton and Darius Garland, the key matchups in the point guard positions. These are the only two that are about to be happening here in between the zones that are ready to take off. You know, I'm really excited to find out who can take the next one. Cavaliers have been walking out for the first two games, but I think next two, yeah, but the to take. Well, it's going to be like a hard one, and you're never going to expect about this, but let's find out who they can take. We start things off here for the face-off, and now we're ready to get this thing on the board. We start off here with Darius Garland. He now finds Jared Allen. He will start things off with the layup, and Miles Turner makes a rejection of the ball. Stops him out of here as Cavaliers will have the ball in possession, and now he will have the air away. Hit right towards middle, he now finds Mobley, he will have it over to Mitchell for two. Two-pointer misses off the mark, and now Struess with the ball, he takes it in here. If his first book in appearance. You know, I was just really saying that Max Struess has been really like trying to pop it in there. But as you all may have maintained it, it's just not what you really do. But I mean, you always got to make sure when you play for the game on the other side, it's not what he does. He's been really like keeping it in here for so long, but that's what you don't take for a lot of timing. Here's Fiaka and starts things off in the prowls called on Cleveland Cavaliers with his fourth course of And a first team foul will start things in for the Cavaliers as Jared Allen with his fourth course of Now the takeover is not just how you take for Pascal Siakam. He's just really taking his own in there, but that one may not have to do with the offend that one in there. First free throw coming along, and he's right now at the free throw line shooting two, which is only 7.21 to go. Shoot 
He is the first free throw this time. He takes one in here as Pascal Siakam. He has been maybe making his debut here after playing with the Toronto Raptors, but his first postseason with the Indiana Pacers after a Trifton coming in for the all team calling for Buddy Heels after playing with the season. You know, hard things can't really stop you down because they've really been like crushing it out, but it just doesn't happen to be like everybody's favorite. But they all really are, are making sure that they're trying to like leave them out right from the gap and right behind it. It doesn't really mean to say that they're really are laying the focus out of here. They can't let that one get right back into it. And it doesn't happen to most of the teams. They can't let that one be maintained on your way. Oh boy, and I think a foul is going to happen there, and that's on Miles Turner. That's a foul. The three goes going to be in for Trailer Allen. And there's a collision right over here in the corner of the box, and now he has that one here flipped out. He lost that one in this moment, and now he's at the free throw line shooting, too. Yeah, it's pretty easy enough that whenever you make that one in that collision, that's going to be a kick. Take over, it's just a bump out, and it's not really turning it over like he's just trying to sit there for a lot of reasons. And this one's not going to get that one comfortable in there. He missed the first free throw. Well, you say what Jared Allen has done. He, he's been making great rejections out of it with the shot, and every angle he's been like popping it in there just to do for one of his rare techniques. The average of his score is not really turning to be winning on this. It's just not a lot of hard timing if he can get that one through. And he gets the second free throw in the game. Here's Nesmith. He will try to take it over on the other side of the court. Now as it again to Turner, he will take his way down in. Gives the pass back to Nimhart. Nemar now finds it again to swing in for Allen Brook and will take the two-pointer shot it in to his first bucket. The longer range of that. Jerry Silver has been really like popping it in there. Just starting it off with a drive, scoop it in. Garland for a three, and he will have that missed opportunity ring for the outside. Now back the airway comes in, and now this one will step it over in the air side. As now, Nemhard face again, finding Turner. Turner face a shot, now has to begin to Halliburton. The step inbound, the drive has been picked off too soon, and now it's a Mobley back the airway. With the drive in pick, and this one stops it in for Darius Scarlett with his first bucket. His major appearance is one that's starting things off with an untricky motion. That ability is never going to let that one change the end here for Darius Scarlett. He's been trying to like let it go. Try to take the flow out of it. You don't want that one to get out of the way. Here's a three for Siaka. He will take the fire free on the outside. This one is up in the lead. I had six to five. Now they're really exciting to perform. They're really making sure that they have the right time. Here's Donovan Mitchell. Now the start reading across here, and it's a layup, and he's missed it off again. Now it's Oliver on the other side. Now Freddie again to Siaka. Siaka can give again to Halliburton. Shoots over Garland, cut him down, takes it in. Halliburton with his second bucket. Now he's Donovan Mitchell on the other side of the court. He will now find it over again to Jared Allen and Gary Garland on the outside. Takes it again. Back to Allen. Turner with it now. Passes now to Garland. And toward the corner looking for Royal Room and he will have the two. Takes it out, and now it's back the other way to turn. He's off again to Halliburton. Halliburton trying to take his own time. Now he finds it over again. Now he swings it off to Nesmith. Nesmith takes his own look here. Now finding now again to Halliburton. Halliburton with six seconds to go, and now Turner with a cutting down, and this one will knock it out. And share it out with the rebound. You know, harder ones can't let that one stop in the It's just no way luck. Jared Allen now finds a game of Shrews with a screen, trying to pick it in there with a drive, and this one has been knocked off the mark, covering for the rebound is Siaka. And here comes Turner, he will have it again to Nemhard for three. To the corner, range makes it in. Turner with the assist, 11-5 score. He's starting to make that one easier one, as for Nemhard, he's been trying to like let them go. The pass out of it, it just doesn't really mean that he just made it like a little bit clearer to have it all. That didn't really change at all of it, and it's no way that they can't let that one get right in between. Nesbitt 
The bounce pass deep to get to Denhart. And now he finds again to Miles Turner with the reverse drive. And this one is missed again as Jared Allen with the rebound. Cavaliers have only had a scoring trots here with the last 2 3 2 for a minute. And now here's Jared Allen trying to step over Turner. And this one will take it in. Jared Allen with his first bucket of view as Mitchell had with the assists. Halliburton with the ball, and now he has it over again to Nesmith. Nesmith trying to work his way down again to Siaka. Looks now finding it, false tip, and it's changed over back to Mitchell. And here comes Mitchell, on a take for Garland, and that's good. There is Garland with the bucket, assisted by Donovan Mitchell. It's now a 11-9 game with three minutes for by. Well, they really are trying to let that fight for it. They need to do some a little bit of changing technique. They don't want that to get away with us. A bit over head pass, finally get an MR, and now he has again the Turner. Back step for two, this one will start in. While Turner with his first bucket with 2.45 left to go. Now, the easier range can let that happen with Miles Turner. He just made that one really felt easy now. But the hard part is, they don't make that one with a lot of adjusted changes, and they really are starting to go down the flow. I need to do some a lot of them that can get there. For a timeout call, ready in the end Pacers, they will stop things over here with only 2.37 left to go. In the period right now, it is only a 13-9 game, as they're looking like they really wanted to take another change off, but they can't let that happen if that one changes off. Most of the coaches, it doesn't really mean that he gets the thing out of the way. I don't have a lot of them, but it the, the may not be what they're all looking for. We've got to make sure we have that one all covered in there. And if there is a problem, don't let that one take over you. Because the hard part is, not everybody's good at it. They can't let that one take the score by good. Substitution all on the court right now. As they will have some new changes in here on the court. It's just a Thompson checked in. And Walker is on the court right now on the other side. The Yang toward the corner, and stop him, we'll have it. The pass to Levert. Play it. Lost that Arcus right now, it goes back the other way. And the first rebound puts in for Nemo. Nemo finds Tony Topper. Up for the two range in. He has that first bucket to take all of his uh, debut, and he has that one to start to stick it off. He's on for now, again to Levert. Levert. Look for cutting bound, finding the end. And off to Thompson, the drive, rebounded again. Watching a three-second violation, trying to exit out. And it's good defensive tackle here for Joe, for Walker. Now Walker's really like taking his own time. It just doesn't mean that he's in good, good condition. Make sure he does have it all. If he doesn't make it there in time, just gotta make sure you get that one pass again at the right moment. Now McConnell not finding it over here is McDermott and up for the two, takes it in. This was missed out again as Walker has that rebound. Back stepper now has the back pass over to get it. Udi Toppin. We're a drive. Rolls in and out. Thompson with the number ball has the rebound and real give it again to Levert. Off to Okoro and Okoro will have it in there. 15 to 11 score and it's back down at four for Cleveland. Now McConnell finds it with McDermott. He turned into this way down right toward again, and now he makes a pass over now to Toppin. Toppin swings it down into Denmark. Over now, the three for Toppin. Range for outside. It's tipped. The ball's been rebounded by Tristan Thompson. It's not with the tape this. Don't let that one go to the three. The foul's called, but he can get the base here for the Toppin. That's right now, this will be his first goal. 51.2 seconds in the first period. First quarter of the game. Now this one will roll back over as Isaac McCool will have his first chance to shoot goal line and Indianapolis shooting too. Always got to know that easier one. It's not going to take a lot of the timing of this one. But I make sure he, if he's ready to take his own look, make sure his offense, offense keep on coming. They don't want that one to get that one spooled out. First three focuses. I think Okoro definitely has been playing it for one of us after playing at University of Auburn. He now has it all taken and he's just making his way for this postseason. And he wants to have another driving score on his tape. It's better hard defensiveness because I think Okoro has been really like trying to keep that one in there. 
but when you take a look on the offensive side, you just got to make sure you, you have it all on the range. It doesn't mean it doesn't have it all, but you just got to make sure it needs to be all branched up. No bar, now finding it over again, over your top end. Now here's Nembhard with this two, and it's good. Nembhard has it in. With five points in the game, it's a 31 second mark, and now under 30 seconds. You know you hear that fast car right now, that's because the base car has it up here on the lookout. I, I just never see it when it goes in. Oh man, Walker, how did he do that? And McConnell will finish it up for the drive, and this one will take a 19-12 lead for Indiana. Now here's Lilburg. Tries to step it back for the two. Up in the early angle now, and he goes back the airway. And now here's Ernie Toppin. He will hop it over again. Now finding McDermott. McDonald for three, and he will have it left down the range. So in the first quarter here is a 19-12 game. Up ahead with seven. Off to the second quarter when we come back after the break. You're watching the NBA playoffs on 2K Sports. Happy to back out here with you as we're ready to start the second quarter. In the range of this game, it doesn't mean like it happens to go with all of it, but the first part of it, they have finally entered their playoffs the postseason of 2K Sports. Tell me everything about it, about it, they've done the guys. Well, you see what they've done there, a better routine their offense can't let that one stop. But this doesn't mean that like, he's really impatient to be slow looking, but, they, but every day it's just not what you're taking for. But it's all great for the fans, and we love to have the bases coming back in there. But they, they're not going to let that one close in if they have another choice to go with. You know, a lot of hard takes, it's not going to take. Oh! Darius Garland. I can see that Darius Garland made that one with the dunk. Yeah, me too. I mean, he's, he's like basing it in right now. Our next one in the quarter is right now Alan Burton is on with Donovan Mitchell. And across from here is Siakam. He's with uh, Isaac Kuro. Across from here is McConnell on Darius Garland. That's with, with Max Schuess. And center is Jared Allen on Miles Turner. Miles Turner finishes off with the drive and he has a second bucket of the game. Darius Garland with the ball. Now we'll swing the pass over to Allen. He now makes his way down here as McConnell will have it. Mitchell. And David Eldridge, we have a reporter for here, as Rick Carlson has that one deep coming in down. And he's just trying to get this one in there if he can get another choice. And other times, it doesn't mean like he has it all in great racing about. Well, you can definitely just make sure that the, it just happened to be one of the timing angles here. And he, he's trying to make sure he, he gets his coaching right into a step or ability. It doesn't mean that he's really uncomfortable right now, but he has to make sure he, if he's getting there at the right important time. When that shot comes in there, he's got to make sure that the team gets it back. Whoa, what a shot here. Al Burton just made that one in there with the lucky drive. Count the bucket at one. It's right now Donovan Mitchell has the has a number five call here on Cleveland. Well, you're seeing it from here because Sorry Al Burton. He just had the cut. And, and then when you just go look with the right around the back of the angle, he just got bumped out. But that's a great communication in there. He gave him a little bit of like, okay, moment. I can see you now. I got that good shot feeling, if you can take. The foul's called here right now on Cleveland Cavaliers. We're going under 6.30 to go in the first half of the period. And now it's Halliburton with one shot. And he hits off the free throw. Now, here's Harry Scarlett with the ball. 6.25 left to go. Off to Allen. Allen trying to make a switch off here. And oh! Miles Turner rejects the ball. Now, there's no way. No excuses on that. Miles Turner dug the ball. Miles Turner finds it over again. Now, finding Siaka. Siaka makes his way inside. The layup doesn't pick it up. Mobu with the rebound, not finding it again to Darius Scarlett in the other hand. Now he's aside, now flipping over again at Mitchell and he gets it over to Struess. Next pick with it on the cover. Screen by Allen. Up again. Oh my! Now a take for Miles Turner. How is he able to hang on with that? Great solid performance effort for Miles Turner. He has his fourth rebound. 
That's no way to make excuse you. Can't let that stop him down if he does it. That's great. Now Brian's Miles Turner. Up to two, and he's good. He takes it in here, and now Miles Turner with really six points. He's just going in there right now. Miles Turner is just trying to let him go silent down. He's just making it clear. Dark off goal by the Cleveland Cavaliers with only 5.18 left to go in the first half. That Fury is going to let him handle. And no offender can't get in the way for anybody. We've come down to the end of the line with just only 5.18 left to go. We'll stick around here for the, for the end of the second quarter of the first half. They're on the show ball. Miles Turner, like he's a show unstoppable, to go with two blocks and again. And now three blocks. That's what he does. Make him feel pain, and he's just really forcing the drive to stop them down. I'm just taking a look right now, and a bit of flashback right now since we're taking you down here to game seven here in Cleveland Cavaliers. The better of this game here for LeBron James of the better night here to play against the Indiana Pacers. They've been knocking it right down here for a sort of range here from 2017 and 2018 was the last part of a opponents that they've been playing each other right in between of those two. These are the range of matchups that they were in a close call. But in game seven, this happened to be one that the Cavaliers destroyed the Pacers two times in a row in the postseason after a, a defendable loss right in between for the Indiana Pacers. It's just hard enough now. I mean, how did that happen? Well, they really have been looked like they are really like crushing it up here. I love that when they handle it all their own, I just really have to tell you that. They really love their percentage. They just never really get there and comfortable at all. I mean, I don't know what calls with their attention, but it's just no way that they can't let that one defend it. They've been doing really well. How hard could that be? The rebound puts it in right now, and that's Halliburton with the ball. And now he's on his way down to McCump. McCarnell takes his way, and now Halliburton back to Turner. Passes it again, now finding Mick Nesmith. Nesmith gets it again to McConnell. McConnell does this very off drive, and it's in reverse, and he makes it in there. He has his second bucket. Just got to make sure that Aaron Nesmith has that one with his own assist of the night. And in McConnell, he has that one finished up there, too. Holds the ball, now finds it again, a more senior, and Turner with the ball. Holding on to the cover, and he finds a pass to Garland. Garland, over to more senior. Stops inbound as Turner has a rebound. Now he takes it over, now finding Hilliburton. Gives again to Siaka for the two. And this is off the outside of a target range. Um, the easier one doesn't really uh, mention it because they need to make sure they have an open space for it. And it's an eye by Halliburton. Here's Nesmith with a finish. And a drive puts it in. Aaron Nesmith with only with his first bucket of appearance. And now he has it all crosses down and away. It's now 3.50 left to go in the first half of the period. Garland on McConnell. Finds the alley oop. And he will take it in here for more senior. Five blocks here for the Indiana. And really hustle stats here with Alina. Now you really are expecting that more senior had that one with it. Alley oop take. It never happens. How could this happen? Now the pass now finds it again to Siaka. Has it now over again to McConnell. Six on the shot clock. Here's Nesmith for the two. He takes it a jumper in there and he has a second bucket. 32 to 18 to score as McConnell with the assist. Well, just look how they were trade changing it. Without, because without the Victor Wall Depot, he mentioned that. It just meant to be harmful way that he's trying to attempt it to try to clear it out. But it doesn't really happen to be one of them, and they are getting in a close one to get him by. I know it's really like hard to like try to stop him by, but they can't let that one get pulled over and pulled out of the way because if something really happens here, you, you just don't want to make that one too uncomfortable. And now here's the Yankees right toward the corner. He finds it over to get a little bird. He's now off to a curl. Curl right toward the middle. Takes it away. The layup won't stop it in down. And it's Thompson will have his own rebound. Tries to slide it across. And he has that layup back in. Tristan Thompson trying to answer it back right now. Which is only 2 for you to go. Now Tyrese Oliver will have it over to get. Now finding Emhart. 
Demar tries and swings across it again. Halliburton and again to Siaka. Siaka swings it off. Jacks it up and a two puts it in. It's another one for the Pacers as Miles Turner has another assist coming in. Timeout goal by Cleveland Cavaliers with only 2.21 to go. They just really have to make sure they talk things over now. They have to get that one through it. The NBA for playoffs on Duke Sports is brought to you by AT&T 5G. The ultimate last reliable and secure that connecting changes everything. Sour Patch Kids. Sweet Sour Gum. And by American Express. Don't live life without it. As we're wrapping up right now, we have the halftime show coming up for you. As we have is Kenny Smith along with Shaq and Ernie Johnson with the halftime show as we get this thing right under cover here for the first half statistics in between of Cleveland and Indiana, Indianapolis and Indiana. 221 left to remain here, and there will be a lot of time changes. We got the UQAs coming down right toward the wire on the first of the start of their appearance. That'll be all here coming up after the first half completion. Now with some new line changes right now as we have a couple players are checking in. And now with some couple players checking out as Nesbitt's checked out and checking back in will be Doug McDermott. Passes the block. Siakam's already covered in the corner. Now this time he gets it to Will. First three-pointer. Can it work? Thompson up and the two will jump it in. That will be his first quarter of the bucket in the appearances and now he has a second bucket of the night. That appearance is it's dropping flow for Tristan Thompson. He's just making sure he gets that one pumped it up. That meant to be a hard one that he's been maintaining. But I know it's not really a press for him, but make sure he's at a comfortable position for two. Here's Tyree Celebrotan right now for the two, and he talks it in now. He has his nine points in the game, but he's just down to a 90 second mark. The key is drop that thing on the ball. Slow it down. Let it go. Three for Rising Akoro. And he has that back. Tristan Thompson has his third bucket of appearance. 36 3 to score. Siakam will have it again. Now finding over is McDermott. McDermott gets it again. Now a bit to Halliburton inside his own. Denmark and a layup to Shaw. This one turns it over for Tristan Thompson. Here's the third. Now finds Akoro. Okoro now makes his way down, passing it again back to LeVert. He's over now, taking his own time, now finding Nia. Nia back to LeVert, and that one gets back to Nia for three. And he has that drop it in. That's the first three-quarter of the night, and it goes up a 36-27 game. Now here's McDermott. Here's LeVert. It's off again to Siaka. Siaka with the floater. Up it goes in. That's Siaka's spur bucket. The appearance is for the driving in this one. He wants to make that teardrop flow in. That's for Siaka's goal. That idea just got to work well, and he makes that one here for the clean. Now he's the fast half, Penny Thompson. Over again to Jackson. This is rebound here as Jackson will have it down. Leave it back again to Halliburton. Halliburton trying to fix it up again to McDermott with only 13 seconds. Now finds Halliburton. Give again to McDermott. McDermott finds him hard. Five seconds to shoot. And he will have to let a leave alone and Halliburton finishes off the first half of the game. 38 to 27 to score. And we will take a quick break and we'll get back to you soon for the third quarter. But now, Ali the horse. Hey, Ali. Kevin, thanks. Tristan, how do you evaluate yourself and the team so far? Uh, you know, I'm doing pretty all right, you know. We got some more rebounds, block some shots, but, you know, second half, we got to slow the tempo and play kind of basketball. That's why we have a second half to improve on that. We'll see if we can keep it going. Thanks, Tristan. Back to you. All right, thank you, David. We're right now, we'll get you back into Indianapolis and get ready for the third quarter. Here on 2K Sports, see you all just a bit. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back to 2K Sports. Ernie Johnson alongside Shaquille O'Neal and the Jet, Kenny Smith. Let's get to it. 
So it's Indiana who's out on top at the half. They lead by 11. How about you, Shaq? What did you think about Indiana? They're running the offense beautifully this one. They're looking for good looks. Their confidence looks sky high. It's going to be hard for that defense to disrupt their flow at this point. And uh, Kenny, what'd you see from Cleveland? Hey, Ernie, it's not hard to see why they're down. I can see 35% of the field. They've got to come up with some new wrinkles. If they can create better shots, then they have a better chance. And that's a wrap for our halftime show. The third quarter just about to get started. You've been watching the 2K Sports Halftime Show. And we welcome you back here at Indianapolis to start off the third quarter as we're ready to get this thing underway. Now to a great start here for Tyree Celebrate, and he has been looked like he's gained a lot of his percentage target on his great start in game three. You know, the same thing I always say to Tyree Celebrate, and he only made one block, and only got nine points in this game. I'm always saying that he almost got that right assist here, and that rebound's gonna be a lot of worse than that. But he's doing really well. I mean, keep an eye on him. Just a good way to take. We start, we start things off here for the second quarter of half, as right now, Nemhard is with on Donovan Mitchell, Dennis Garland, he's on Tyree Salatburgan, Siakam is with on Evan Mobley, Ben Jared Allen on uh, Miles Turner, and Ned Smith is on Max Struess. Now he's a pass again to Siakam, and now he will have a two to take, and that one tires it in, and this one was a number two for Pascal Siakam. And here's Darius Garland, he will have his own time trying to look for another open, clean look. They give off to Struess. Struess gets again to Garland. Off for two. And, and a three pointer misses off. The target range is not always in sight. You don't want to make sure you get that one here out of focus for your life. Now to pass it over again. Now he finds it, and then Harder is up, and it makes it two. It looked easy. For playable, and now he's back the other way. Here's Darius Garland, he will have his own look. On the other side, now he in the middle. Up for two. Again, right toward the middle, and now the free throw line is a 42-29 game. Here's Elberton, he's over again to Siaka. With a shot, tight D here as Evan Mobley does that rebound. The pickoff looking is not turning to be great, but don't let that one get away from you. And the layup drive puts it in for Jared Allen. We do have a report for David Eldridge who's right at the moment as J.P. Bickerstaff has really been trying to train his team as that one with the line before stepping in the postseason. The ultimate way that postseason season is not just the only way that you could win, but the only thing is you make sure you get into the right timing, just do your pick at the right moment and get it done fast. We don't want that to get it anymore. Play. Oh, he makes a three-pointer in an easier look and now it's Nesbitt. He has that one three-pointer range on the outside. He has seven points. And here's Allen. He's over again to get into Mobley. Mobley trying to clear it. Oh, he just had that slam dunk in. That's just going to keep on happening now. And they're really saying that, that Allen just had that one just really keeps on coming in. There. He just made a great pass here. Now Alberton, he's right back again, back to Siakam, and now he's over now to Denver. Great ball from the for Indiana, just out of five left to go. Over the two, and it makes it in. Gary's Alberton with 11 points, just five to to go. Well, they're saying that they're probably quiet right now. I mean, I don't know what they're doing, but don't let them get away with this one too soon. Max Struess delivers a three-pointer, and now it's a 47-36 game. Slowly get up from the court, will be Nesbitt, and now he's over now, giving off to turn. Fades off the shot, up for layup, and a hard D puts it in here, as now it's Allen with the rebound, now gives it back again to Darius Scarlett. The pass now again to Mobley. Allen gets again to Mitchell, and a layup goes in. Mitchell got a good scooping drive, and now this will be taken back down. 47 38, assisted by out. Now, Allen was really like all into that one. He got a good open look. The offense got him pretty handled. Nesmith now finds it over again. He finds Oliverton. Off for the back two in the set. And this one takes it in here. And he has that one too, racing in. Oliverton with 13 points with 4.70 to go. 
Here is Starling with the ball. Now finds a pass to Jordan Allen. And back to Garland. Finishing the drive, won't get it. Namar's got a ball with only four minutes to go. And now he finds it again to Turner. Turner makes his way down, right finding over again to Halliburton. Halliburton swings it over again, now finds Siaka. Siaka gives to, see, to Turner and he makes it in there. Turner has eight points in this game, 51 38 game. Now they're really like a crush over, they really aren't just smoking out. Just make sure you, you can get keep the buckets going. Time out call by the Indiana Pacers with under 3.40 left to go. And we're nearing down the end of the third quarter. And this one's been walking in blast. They're all having fun right now. Yeah, definitely do. I mean, I guess they really just have to enjoy it. That's all they can care for. For a nice game, as we have the next one coming in there, we've got the Pelicans facing against the Funders at Swooby King Center. That'll be tonight's game at 8.30. And then 10 p.m. game sharp will be the Warriors against the Nuggets at Chase Center in San Francisco at the Bay Area. Catch all year round here by watching it right now for the complete series of the NBA playoffs right down here only on the center piece and it's now on. You can watch it anytime you like right in between and you won't have to worry about missing everything. Enjoy with all the games to go and you can definitely watch it on the NBA app while well, the NBA postseason in the game and keep your eyes on it for any scores update right here on your smartphone, tablet, computer, or even on a TV to stream it. It's all everything on device what you're looking for. Download the NBA app today. New changeups coming in here for the Indiana Pacers is right now McDermott. He's with on the court. And now he's over with the air player, TJ McConnell. And Walker's right toward the quarter. Order right back down again. He's looking for Nemhard. Cut in for the drive. Another scoop and take for Nemhard with nine points. Now, nine points really mentioned that Nemhard really had that one finish off the cover. And they really are stuffing it in there. Not having Mitchell right toward the outside of the wing. And now he finds again to Darius Garland. Garland finds again to Mitchell. Donovan Mitchell. On a drive, puts it in. In a scoop in look. In reverse, as Mitchell has a two. That's just an easy look. You know the offense can't really help him out if you get there. Now he finds the pass. Now we're getting Memoir. Now he gets a pass over. Now again to Walker. Walker swings the pass. Now find McCullough. The bounce pass to Turner. Step back two. Good. Pascal Siakam just has ten points. Now they're leaving it onto an open gap theory. I mean, there might be a lot of change off, but they can't let that one get over from you. The, the shot angle, it doesn't really mention to anybody, but they're really uh, like trying to step it in there. Hopefully they're trying to get a number two in there. I mean, a lot of responses come come to be clear when you think. DJ McConnell up at a two, and another miss comes up by Indiana. Here's Garland up for two. And the floater misses again. More than two minutes remaining in the third quarter of the period. Now he loses his way down by the and he now will have it find over to McConnell. Now finds again to McDermott. The bounce pass to Demhart for the two. Takes it in there and it's right past the three point line as Demhart has 11. 57 44 as they trail by 13. And a foul, and he will count the bucket in. This time, it's now a number 10 here for Mc, as McDermott with his first personal and a number 10 foul. Goal at the end of Basers. For 90 seconds, nearing a 90 second mark for three players checking in. As Isaac Okoro, Justin Thompson, and Morrell are checked in with Carol Silver. One shot coming up here for Isaac Okoro and the free line shooting one. Walker and Siakam are also checked out as Tony Toppins checked in. And he only had one. Now he finds the pass. Now he finds it over to TJ McConnell. He now gives it again to Odie Toppin. Toppin trying to wait it around. Now finding it to McDermott. McDermott swings it across again. Nemo. 
Then we're on for the two. And this one goes in and out, and it goes back to Boy Senior. Isaac Pearl on a full fast break. The drive is unable to complete the finish. Yes, yeah, really, really not better enough. But you got to make sure when you when you're rolling in for a layup, just make sure you get there in in time. Fast almost deflected, and now it's back again to top it. He now makes his way down toward again to McDermott. Five seconds to shoot. To vertical full drive, and he's fouled. Tristan Thompson with his fourth personal with under a minute to go in the third. That period range can't let that one slow you down because McDermott's really trying to get that goal. I mean, the full drive needs to have that full repetition, and this one needs to get right in towards the lineup. McDermott hits the first free throw. Not the new substitutions on the court as DA is checked in for a more senior. And for Indiana Pacers right now with a new changeoff, coming back on the court will be Smith. And a second free throw is good. 59 46. We're nearing down the end of the third period, for a quarter, excuse me. Niang has it over now on top it. Up and two, takes it in there, beating over top it. Number two pointer comes in for George Yang. Cleveland Cavaliers are trying to like answer back. They really are making sure that they have the right length for the open look. But this offense can't really just like slow down. And TJ McConnell finishes off with a nice and a beautiful drive, and this one has six points. The open easier look. Now you can get that food here for TJ McConnell. Garrison yeah, Burke for two. Missed again and now finds it over as Nesmith with Nemhart with his fourth rebound. Five seconds to shoot and now he finds it again to McDermott. McDermott trying to pull it in for the three and he makes it. What a take in. 64 48 to score. They are pushing it. The better one you have, that's better what you take. They are really scrubbing it out. And hey, don't ask me that Miles Turner had that rejection out there. They were all in back-to-back -back ones to take. We've come down right now toward the end of the third quarter, and the fourth quarter is on its way next, right after this message. You're watching the NBA Playoffs on 2K Sports. Let's have a moment now to reveal the assist of the game presented by State Farm. Now, I really was saying that, that I'm very glad, though, that, that the Pacers are really are adding a lot of a percentage of the assists, but this one's starting to be a little, a little better than you know. But that's where you dunk it out, you make that free throws, and then with that great drive bucket in one, I mean, it's starting out great. Yeah, definitely totally agree on that. Can't let it go hard. We hope everybody's enjoying right now with the third quarter, and now this is the last quarter to bring. As a startup, we'll be putting in for McConnell on, on Donovan Mitchell. Then we have the cross here is Turner on George Yang. Then following is Struis, he's with Von Nesmith. And then it's uh, Mobley with on uh, Von Smith. And finally, we have is TJ McConnell, Arizona Burton on the open look of the range on Isaac Gore. Here's Oliver, and he will try to bounce past it, and off to Nesmith. What a great look for Oliver and Nesmith with his nine points of the game, and they are electric out in Indianapolis. Well, fans are cheering right now in Gamebridge Fieldhouse. There, there's a lot of fans, and a lot of people are coming in to see the playoff games. They really are stepping in there, and I really am happy enough. They're getting a lot of it done. And here's now Oliver and can strike tonight. Oh boy, he goes down. Uh oh, big problem. Amber Alert, call for the medical attention. And it's been checking up to Smith. Now the timer will be called by Indiana Pacers, and now they're going to have to replace a new one. Well, that's all you get now. Congratulations for Mary's Love Burton, and we all appreciate the for his speed recovery. Let's go right down to the replay as we have a look here for the other side right now. I will send it over to Meepo. To have a look in between. Be fun. 
All right, then, Roy Cruz, thank you so much. As we have that one more last look over here at the rejection by Evan Mobley, this one was taking a big of a worse of the step. When he's taking a lot of his look at the angle, he was sawing that. That plus was coming in right now because that one puts a medical attention right now for Tyree Celebrating. He went down on the court really hard, and what happened? He pulled a leg on his left side. That angle is going to be a lot harder to get up. But that one really bruised him out of here when no one has saw that one coming in in between. He's really like holding on to it right now. And you, when you're looking on the other side right now, here's what happened here. He just went right into it and nearing the basket to make the layup, but that block turned to be hard. But this one got into a bad one to take. He's really, he's grabbing his leg, he's limping his way through, and he wants to get right to the baseline here quickly as he can. He just really had nowhere to go. He just made that one really feel hurt, and this was a hard one for Tyree Celeburton to get that one back onto his feet. So therefore, he loses everything, so that ends it up with four quarters in the game, and he's on the court, but we were happy enough to have that one back with him and to finish it off. So that will be his unknown hamstring, unknown um, quads that have with hamstring on the bottom, that will be the end of it for his lifetime. So that is it for Tyree Celebrating, but he's hopeful enough he'll be returning again to game four on his way for the next part of it of the playoffs. We wish for him for his speedy recovery, and we will play, and we will see him back again for another day. All right, there we go. Thank you so much. The NBA Playoffs in 2K Sports is brought to you by AT&T 5G. Connecting changes everything with fast, reliable, and secure. Your local Kia dealers, a moment that inspires. And by Starry Lives. We're a new change up here for Tyrese on the Bergen. That's right now coming back here on the court. We'll be next guest. And now T.J. McConnell will have it over again in Nesmith, and he now has it again to Tamayo Serter. Finds a pass. Shoots over Allen. Fade shot, misses. 6.30 left to go in the fourth quarter, and now he has it again to Struz. Trying to get in, finding Mitchell. Mitchell on the step in, on the long, oh man, that Donovan Mitchell did this the other, excuse me, the other way, and this one is now a 66-52 game. Well, that was a lot, like a change off, like, you're, you're finishing it off that for real, and you're just making sure that you have that one finished off at the right time. I don't know what's going on, but it's just like changing things over. That's for real. Now he finds the pass again to make them hard with the two, and this one is off the rim, and it's a rebounded again by Allen. Here's another take for Mitchell. Mitchell on a layup try. Again, puts it back up, and he makes it in there. And we definitely do have a report for Gabe Lawler as he pulled his left calf muscle. He's out right now for two or three weeks, but he will be able to be returning again for game number four for another day. On this matchup, it will be all for everyone. Uh, we'll be missing him retiring to celebrating, and we're glad to have you have four quarters on the court. Yeah, it's pretty great now. I mean, there you just kind of tell things. We wish him for a speedy recovery, and hopefully, feel better soon there, bud. Um, oh! Again, that's another one! After a dunk made here for Jared Allen, after assisted by Darius Garland with five minutes to go, here's Nesmith. He now finds it again to Nemar to finish off the drive, and he does it again. Nemar with 13 points on 20 minute, 21 minutes on the court. They're under five minutes. Well, they're all saying that Nemar, he wants to make a full attacker. I mean, just keep going. Allen, find a range. Give a go look as he has that two pointer back in again. They're cutting a digit down by 12. And now here's McConnell, he has it over again to Turner. On a finish try, hard defensive look here for Jared Allen. He now has it again to Darius Garland. Garland trying to work his way up. And a two cuts it down by 10. 
It's now a 10 point game, a 60, uh, 70 to 60 game. Looks like they really wanted to get back into this. Yeah, it's really like you're going to be a hard day. But not when you're always looking for it. you got to find a look open. Here's number take, number two, and he makes it in here as Nesbitt has 11 points. He's taking this one more time in 72 60, 60 game, rolling it down with under four minutes. And now here's Mobley, he finds it again to Donovan Mitchell and then Hart. Off for the three, challenging it in, no go. He's missing on that one. Don't want to get away with this. The pass finding Burrow. Now he has it over again back to Jackson, and now he gives it again to Nesmith. Nesmith bounces past to Jackson, takes the shot, but never missed by Indiana. You're just losing it a lot of it. No balance uh, on the shot, it, it can't be easy enough when you can take it. Now he gives an arrow over Darius Garland for the two, and this one's dropped again, and never missed here for the Cleveland Cavaliers. Final three minutes in the fourth quarter, now fills it off again to McConnell. And at two, makes it in for TJ McConnell. Ten points of the game, that's Jackson with the assist. A 74-60 game as they lead up by 14. And a pass down to Darling. For two, he misses again. Now McConnell will find it again to Miles Turner. He has now a pass, now finding it again to Nesmith. The downs bounce pass again to Jackson. Jackson on his way down with the layup and it's good. Number one takes it up here for Jackson in his second bucket. Dude, just never gonna let it slow. He's never gonna quit. That's Smith. Jackson. Good take. And here's Mitchell on a layup try to reverse takes it in. Time out followed by Indiana Pacers with only 2.11 to go in the fourth quarter. 76-62 is the score. We come down to a break, and we'll be out there to finish off for the rally of the game in the fourth quarter. Just got to believe it for yourself now. Indiana, they grow basketball here. They're lighting a playoff, start the amount, and get it right on the board. And now it's time to present your New Balance player of the game. 38 Indiana Pacers, we give it a good look to go ahead and give it a go. Andrew Nembhard. Now he's really like a, a better professional player. I was always saying for Andrew Nemhard, he just had that full setup screen. Every day, it's just coming to be a lot of hard, difficult challenging. Like he's finally getting into a lot of uh, routines, but he's been like a better player and you just always have something know. Just make sure when he gets that one for another playoff bound, and make sure he's get this thing timing done straight away. Yeah, definitely true. I mean, I've got a lot of it for good feeling for Andrew Nemhard. He's been like a pushing pressure right at this moment. And I think the next playoff might come in handy. After another miss here, and it now finds it over again. And it's Shrews and Allen is up in a little layup. Moving back down right now as McDermott will have it here. And he has it again right finding Miles Serter. Miles Serter finds it again to McDermott. McDermott again to Turner. Now finds it over to Nesmith, and now he gets it over again, not finding he is Jackson. Jackson gives it over now, finding Nesmith, but five seconds to shoot. Here's a three for McNemhart. Grabs the rebound. Fans on their feet, giving the support here for another rebound. Jackson, cut it back, and he takes a traveling call. Oh no, it's a shooting foul. That goes on Evan Mobley. He wants to have that hand on him. Let's watch that one again. I think he was doing it. I, I think he must have. I think he must have been pulling in right now. I think yeah, that's gonna be a foul on him. So yeah, that was a tricky call. I mean, he, he almost made that tricky in, in between, but there is no travel violation, so that didn't change it over. So that stayed safe, of course. Another free throw coming up right now as the Indiana Pacers with only under 90 seconds left to remain in the third game of the playoffs. And he hits the first free throw for Walker. Now Ian Jackson hasn't maybe been able to play where his next part of the NBA playoffs, but he might be looking for his way 
to get his another first goal of his career and first shot of a game career for the Indiana Pacers against the Cleveland Cavaliers. Better franchise than ever record before. It's sometimes rookie's idea, but the bench points seem to be like impossible for him to do. I would never know if he could try to keep on it going if he can get there through. Right down in under 90 seconds to go, and here's Garland. He has a layup in there, and McDermott is trying to get it back, but it's too late as Donovan Mitchell with the assist. And now McDermott will have to fire it now again to Denmark. Is again to Turner. But we're now finding to get a Nesbitt. Nine seconds to shoot, now finds McDermott again to Denmark. Five seconds to shoot. Turner. Over Allen, and good! He makes that one in here for another two. And he has ten points, only nine rebounds and two assists. And he's up. Alley Hoop went unsuccessful. Turns it over to Indiana Ball. Uh-oh. That turned to be a mistake, and that's a whoopsie. Gotta change it over now. <laughs> well, it's all on for now. That's what happens when you don't get it in there. Now he finds a pass, now finding McDermott with 40 seconds. But we're now finding that hard for the three. It's off the rim again. And we're moving with the ball with only 20 seconds left. Last possession for the Cleveland Cavaliers, and now here's Mitchell. With the finish, and he's fouled. So McDermott with his first, second first goal, and a number team foul for Indiana Pacers. Donovan Mitchell at the free throw line shooting two. He'll be at the free throw line to just sign away. I would mention it doesn't mean like when he gets it done right into his better stance, he doesn't get enough potential on his run. He doesn't really like that call, but he doesn't want to get defended up with another foul call. He has the first free throw. And now with some new set of two changes, as now it's Mark Moore Sr. checking in right now for Evan Mobley as the other players have checked out. I'm not sure if you're hearing this right now. It looks like they want, uh, who? I'm not sure who it is, but uh, I'm sorry, but we want Karis. I I'm, not, I'm not sure if they, if they said that one anyway. Hmm. Tricky guess. As the clock winds down right now, it's an 80-66-68 game. One last chance here as now McDermott's in the corner right now and the fans are on their feet here in Indiana. Now finding it again, Jackson wants to do it one more time. Will it go? And that rolls in now and then we're up and good. That ends it off here and it's another two-pointer and he has 15 points. That will end it up 82-68. Final score of the night as the Indiana Pacers are on the board. That changes it all, and that one does it all. What a way to make this finish, and that's how you can roll it up with a celebration gear game three on the board. Until again, we'll see what they do in game four. And that's going to wrap it up here, folks, with Roy Cruz along with Boomer and by both. This has been a presentation of the NBA Playoffs with David Aldrich. We hope everybody's having fun with us, and we'll see you all again next time. Have a great, great afternoon, and have a wonderful evening, everyone. All right, thank you, board crew. So now it's time for your free star players of the game. But first, let's get into team comparison. 61, 50, and 86 was the free throws, three-pointers, and field goals for the Indiana Pacers. Only did it for once right now. And it was 14 fast break points with 54 and 12 second chance points and points in paint with Cleveland Cavaliers. 23 and 34 was the bench points and the assist for Indiana Pacers. Pacers are definitely doing really well on that set. 12 offensive rebounds for Cleveland Cavaliers. And then 26 defensive rebounds for Indiana Pacers. 3 steals for Cleveland Cavaliers. 6 blocks. Excellent run on the stuff for Indiana Pacers. 2, 4, and 4 for team fouls and dunks and turnovers for Cleveland Cavaliers. 
16 and 18 or 8 was your time of possession for the Indiana Pacers. Now, I guess it's time now to send over to Life Ray. All for you for three star plays of the game. Wow, all right, thank you so much right now. It's time for the three star plays of the game. Third star, I give it over here as we give this one a little bit of an upset. As we have that one coming in straight by, a serious Garland with 14 points, one rebound, five assists. But that didn't go enough, but he finishes off with Tyree Zellerberton with 13 points, one rebound, two assists, and one block. Six out of eight field goal percentage on the range, and he only had 17 performance effort. But it all happened to be with his injury as he just pulled off with his calf muscle. But thank you for the words. He will finally, definitely will be returning again soon. Now for number two, Andrew Nemhart not only had 15 points in this game, didn't really try to bump the feelings in here with only five rebounds, and he only made eight assists of the game. That's a New Balance player in the game. Seven out of 12 field goals and only one three-pointers and three three-pointers. Only had three, 33 performance effort, and he had that one finishing off strong. And for your number one star, well, I guess that one turns to be over. And nothing what you always say. Just have to get over with your gut. With that, it's Jared Allen. With 15 points, 8 rebounds, 3 assists, 1 steal, 7 out of 10 field goals. And only had 21 performance effort with 2 dunks. Excellent range for him, but hopefully game 4 will come back in to win it all. You know, that's what happens. Yeah, I definitely do. That's going to wrap it up here, folks. That's right now. I hope you enjoyed part of your first two games of the Indiana Pacers and the Cavaliers after the Sixers and the Celtics. We'll stick you around here for tonight's game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we definitely got your covers in there. And we are ready to have another matchup between the Pelicans and the Thunders at Smoothie King Center. That'll be the next game underway shortly after the intermission. And then following along with the last game, we've got all for you, Warriors and the Nuggets. I'll be on our way at 10 p.m. at Chase Center. This is Meat Boat and Life Ray. Peace out for a while as the NBA playoffs of 2K Sports style. We'll see you all again on the other side in just a moment. Take care, everybody. Have a great evening in Indianapolis. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.